Okay, so here's the culprit. This is very common on these Honda 3.5 V6s and maybe other Hondas too, I don't know. This truck's 15 years old now. Of course, I've taken the plastic engine cover off. Here's the power steering pump and here's the start of the pressure hose. And right under here, if you feel under here, it's all wet. So it's leaking somewhere in this joint here. And then it drips down, drips down, kind of soaks the front of the motor and soaks the oil pan. And uh, at first I thought it was an oil pan or a, a main seal leak or something, but I, two things. One, I washed the motor off and then figured out that this was getting wet in here and I could see drips down here. Also, the uh, hydraulic fluid, the power steering fluid smells different than, than motor oil. Uh, motor oil smells, has like a combustion type smell to it. Uh, power steering fluid doesn't smell like much. It smells pretty clean. So I was able to diagnose this hose, which starts here, goes down here, down and across, and then goes into the steering rack over there. So go have a look underneath. So coming underneath from the right, left-hand side here, the driver's side, we'll just go back to give you some perspective here. So looking forward, there's the drive shaft up here. Okay, so coming forward, here is the hose, okay? You can see it, it's right here, it's running across. There's the sway bar, just above the sway bar and in a little bit. That's the power steering hose that comes down from above, the sensor's over there, then it comes across like this. And I have the new hose right here, just for perspective, right? You can see, okay, let's start here. There's this little bracket here. A little grommet. Okay, that's this here. So the hose comes from above, comes across. There's a little grommet that goes in the bracket. And then there's a curve. And then it goes into the pump with this threaded piece here. So similarly up here, across like this, little bracket. Then it kind of curves and it goes in over there into the uh, the steering rack, right? Into the steering rack. So bracket, little curve forward into the steering rack sideways like that. Now, the trouble is you can't get access to this piece up here. There's just no room. You can't even see it. Like it's in there somewhere. You can't access it. You can't really see it or access it from the wheel either. You might be able to see it a little bit from the front here. You can't see much of anything really um uh yeah it's that piece has to be done from the top you have to reach down from the motor so we're going to try that now the first thing i'm going to do on this little bracket here there's a 10 millimeter bolt here and i've just got a 10 millimeter wrench and i'm able to reach that and i was able to reach it it wasn't even that tight really I was worried it was gonna be so tight I would have to cut it off or something, but I was able to loosen that and get that one partly out and I'll just continue to crank on this and we'll be able to get that bracket out. So that'll free up this area. Uh, and then we'll, we'll, uh, we'll go to the top and see what we can do about getting the, um, the piece that goes into the rack. That's apparently the hardest part of this piece here. So there's some other pretty good YouTube videos of guys doing this um, and cussing and swearing about it and so forth because it's pretty tough. Um, you Normally you're, you're lying across, like to get that uh, the, the fitting into the rack, you have to kind of lie across the front of the motor here and reach way down there. Now what I've done is I took the air intake hose off here uh, just because I think for me, it's a little better to come in from this side rather than reaching down through here, through all these hoses and everything. If you kind of come uh, get rid of the intake hose here and then come through here, there's a little more room to reach down there. I'm gonna try and pinpoint, try and show you where I'm working. Uh, I'll try and shine the light. So you can see there, I have a wrench. Now that's the return line I have the wrench on. And I'm thinking of return, removing that return line because it's kind of in the way. The uh, pressure line, the line that we're trying to change is right behind it. And if you can see right, there's a little white line on it. I don't know how well this is coming through. Little white line. 
and that's the one we're trying to get up. But there's no room to get a wrench down in there. You can, I can't even get a wrench on it, never mind put any leverage on it. So I'm going to remove this front line. It's a 17 millimeter line here. And it actually wasn't that tight. It came loose pretty easy. All right, guys, I'm going to try and show you how I got this loose. Now, a lot of guys are saying use a crow's foot, which I think might work if you can get that down there and you can use an extension or a series of extensions to to get some leverage and to get the right angle. I was able just to use a 19 millimeter wrench. Um, the open part of it, I was worried about it being super tight and stripping it, but I was able to get the wrench on there. I don't know if you can see that. And then it's really tight down there. I couldn't get enough power on it, so I used a just a pipe, uh, kind of a helper bar here, and I was able to slip that over the wrench down and that gave me enough leverage to push and I was able to crack it open. So it's it's loose now, I just gotta thread it out. Okay, there's a sensor on this, or maybe it's a switch on this power steering hose. It's right here. You can see it through the passenger side wheel well, right where I'm shining the light and that green thing there. So we'll need to unplug the uh, the wire. Now, some people can reach this one from the top. I was having a trouble with it. So I just took off the front wheel. The access is pretty good through here. Uh, through the front right uh, wheel opening. You can see the see the hose there where it comes across and then it goes up to the top of the truck. So if you can reach it from the top, good for you. I decided to remove the wheel to get at it. Okay, now finally behind our green sensor here, there's one more bracket. One more bracket and I'll try to point to it here. Uh, with the light, you can see it there. There's a rubber rubber mount and there's a 10 millimeter bolt right up right up in there hard very hard to see you'll see it through the wheel well though um, it's a pain to get out i was able to use a quarter inch socket on it and get that out and now our hose is starting to move around just about time to take it out coming around to the top of the motor again we have a 10 millimeter bracket here on the back of the motor here which we can reach just with a long socket. And then coming forward to the pump, we have our hose finally connecting up here with two 10 millimeter bolts going into the pump. So we'll get that all out, then we'll try and fish the hose out. Okay, all the fasteners are out. These two 10 millimeter bolts are out. This will come out now. There's an O-ring there, which we'll replace on the new one. Um, now, Apparently you can get this out the top. I'm gonna to stuff it down like another guy did on a video I saw and fish this down through the wheel well, through the passenger wheel well. I think it'll be easier to come out the side. Okay, eventually with a lot of wiggling out the side here. Just about got it. comes there it comes there it comes so that wasn't easy hopefully getting the new one it isn't too difficult okay so the old one's out now some of these brackets will have to go on the new one the uh, switch here will have to go on the new one and some of the rubber pieces come on the new one okay I got the sensor pulled out and put in the new hose this little bracket put on here. The bracket there is on the vehicle. I put a little cap, I had a little rubber cap for here so it doesn't get dirt in it. And uh, it's time to start fishing. So I guess we'll kind of go in the same way we came out to begin with and start trying to work it up. Okay, so we're getting there. And then this bracket will go on here later. I'm gonna leave it loose for now. We're getting there. Now, I think the hardest part I've heard is over there.
flip the wrench. It's like whatever this is, a sixteenth of a turn at a time. A whole bunch of times. It's really intense. And you're lying on your stomach reaching. And you got the hood thing. The hood latch jamming you in the stomach. Oh boy. This isn't fun. Okay, we'll hook the hose to the top of the pump now. The kit comes with a new O-ring, which will lubricate with a little power steering fluid. Now, here's a reminder, only use Honda power steering fluid in these Honda vehicles. Anything else will wreck it. There's aftermarket ones that say for Honda Acura vehicles. You gotta use something like that or go to the dealer. Um, so, we'll just lubricate this O-ring with a little bit of juice, Honda juice, and slide it on there. Hopefully it doesn't go flying. And, no, oh, that's good. And, this on here and install with our two 10 millimeter bolts. Wrench? Okay, yeah. And we'll put the 10 millimeters back in and tighten it up. There's probably a torque spec. For now, we're just going to go back and forth, back and forth. Not super tight, there's an O ring in there. Okay. All right, the hose is in all the way. The brackets are on underneath. Now, truth be told, a couple of those 10 millimeter brackets are very difficult to get in. I don't know if they're even possible. I zip tied, uh, <laughs> you know, you can say what you want about the job, but I zip tied a couple of the brackets on just to hold the hose in place. Of course, this one's good. This one back here is easy. The bottom ones are tough. I, there may be some zip ties involved, but whatever. That's on. Now it's just a matter of filling up the reservoir with our Honda fluid and checking for leaks. And that is this job. Pretty difficult job, guys. I wouldn't recommend this unless you really want to spend a lot of hours on it. Um, you know, this is like probably on par with doing a timing belt or maybe even more pain in the ass ish but uh it is possible as i've demonstrated here in a do-it-yourself kind of fashion so we'll put the air intake uh air intake hose back on there and and uh, button it back up and check for leaks and that is a honda power steering pressure hose on a 3.5 honda v6 thanks so much for watching and uh, we'll catch you with the next one hopefully it's a little more fun than this one this was kind of a kind of a biatch